Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at Noon starts now. The young man responsible for the Oxford High School shooting back in court today in an attempt to retract his plea. And that does top our news this noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rhonda Walker. I'm Jason Colthorpe. In the courtroom, the push from the Oxford school shooter Ethan Crumbly to withdraw his guilty plea and get a new sentence. Crumbly was sentenced to life without parole last December. Sean Lay is live at the courthouse this afternoon with what's happening uh, in the courtroom today, Sean. Let's break it all down, Rhonda and Jason. And the big picture here is that this shooter could get a new sentence or a new trial that is a long way off. I always start with this, though, the lives taken by the shooter, Hannah St. Juliana, Madison Baldwin, Justin Schilling, Tate Meir. Let's take you now talking about what happened today and break it down. The shooter pled guilty, was sentenced to life without parole by Judge Kwame Rowe. We all remember that. However, the shooter's attorneys asked to have his guilty plea withdrawn based on him not understanding everything when he pled guilty. They argue there are other new factors based on his childhood or even uh, fetal alcohol syndrome where they want the shooter to be resentenced. Was there a decision on that today? No. There was a hearing. The shooter was not there. Interesting here, Judge Rowe was not happy at all with the shooter's lawyers. They're asking for a hearing on this next summer. Judge Rowe pointed out to them court rules are they must have a hearing and have all their materials together within six months. Why is that important? Judge Rowe could have tossed out all of these motions today based on that, this uh, the request from the attorneys uh, for the shooter. He did not toss them out. He says he will rule on these requests when do, within court rules. And... That means he did not throw out all these things, but you could have a new trial here. That's what's important. Or you could have a new sentence here. And that's what we're waiting for today. And that's what we're talking about this right now. Back to you guys. All right, Sean. Yeah, we will be following that. We'll talk to you a little bit later uh, and keep everybody updated okay. on these developments. The city of Detroit now on a surge for a new top cop as Chief James White is stepping aside for a new role to further address mental health in Wayne County after applying for a new job and on Wednesday being named CEO of the Detroit Wayne Integrated Health Network. It is the largest of Michigan's regional behavioral mental health networks and Chief White applied for that CEO position last month. He has a background in mental health, including a bachelor's degree in sociology and a master's in counseling. Counseling. Chief White was named Detroit Police Chief in 2021. He is a 26-year veteran of the force. No word on when Chief White will be stepping down officially from the position and, of course, when a new chief will be named. But we will stay on top of it for you, of course. One day after the abrupt closing of Bobcat Bonnie's in Ypsilanti, workers are picketing at the location in Ferndale. Nick Monticelli reporting on how the workers say this comes after several issues between the employees and ownership. The signs were made yesterday. Picketing begins today as Bobcat Bonnie's workers will demonstrate outside the Ferndale location, fighting against what they claim are poor working conditions while other employees from the Ypsilanti location say they have not received a consistent paycheck. It's been really frustrating. I've had auto problems that I haven't been able to cover because of the paychecks bouncing. I've had vet bills that I haven't been able to pay. Um, it's just kind of put me in a worse financial situation. Workers say the issues have been so bad, paycheck problems, harassment and more, that they tried to organize. We delivered a position to our corporate office on October 7th, asking for better working conditions, including better payroll practices, a stop to inappropriate behaviors between management. And the only response we've received is Matt Buskard closing our location. The location that's closing is the Ypsilanti restaurant. Bobcat Bonnie saying in a statement, we will not be reopening the Ypsilanti location. Like many small restaurants, we are shrinking our footprint so we can be more focused on our other locations throughout Michigan. And addressing the employee issues, they say, we reached out to these staff members again to investigate the claims further and have been rebuffed twice. It is incredibly hurtful to see negative commentary because we have always taken great pride in our place in the community. And that was Nick Monticelli reporting in, in addition to the picket and closing that restaurant in Ypsilanti, Bobcat Bonnie's has also closed its location in Clinton Township at the mall there.
The University of Michigan looking to buy more land in downtown Detroit. It's for the university's new Center for Innovation. The Board of Regents will have to decide today on considering spending $9.5 million for the two acres of land currently owned by MGM Grand Detroit. The location is on Grand River, a stone's throw away from the current Center of Innovation construction site. The expansion is part of a larger vision to support Detroit's development. Forecast time, and yes, we've hit the noon hour, so oh yeah, things going the right direction <laughs> as planned. Still in the 50s, but hopefully we can warm things up even more today. Yeah, I think we'll get really close to 60, but this is just a turn in that corner for a warm-up heading into the weekend, so upward from here. 55 degrees right now at this lunch hour, feeling like 55 given that the winds have shifted in direction. So even though we've had breezy conditions the last few days, winds have been coming out of the north, northwest, and ushering in that cooler feel. Well, this is a west southwesterly breeze around seven miles per hour and so you can see paired with the sun over at Metro Airport. All of us consistently in the mid 50s at this lunch hour a little cooler the farther west you go you have to go west of Washtenaw County for that but smidge warmer here in the city where we trend warmer at 58 degrees. So how do we stack up to the lunch hour yesterday? Well we're about five to almost 10 degrees warmer across the board so we definitely are seeing that upward swing with that 24 hour temperature change map. Hourly forecast this afternoon, clear skies. We get to about 60 at 4 o'clock, so that's only a degree or two cooler than where we should be at this point in October, so we'll call it a seasonal sunny day, but we will continue to warm things up over the next few days. So mid-60s on tap for your Friday, upper 60s on Saturday, and we're looking to hit 70 on Sunday, and that is not the only 70-degree temperature in the seven-day forecast. You'll want to stick around for that and how long the dry weather sticks around.